Alrighty then, I am a fixin' to make a meatloaf with one and a half pounds of ground beef. And then I'm gonna take, if my aluminum foil doesn't fly because Fred, my fan, is having to blow because my heat pump has a bad attitude today. Not a good day, it's hot. Okay, and then I'm gonna attempt to make the White Castle burger recipe I just thought, saw on Facebook. Because we don't have a White Castle, well, heck, we don't have fast food here because I live in the middle of nowhere, but I'm gonna give it a try. Because I used to go to the Crystal Burger or the White Castle when I used to drink the liquor. And at about three o'clock in the morning, to avoid a hangover the next day, you'd go in and eat like 11 of those awesome little hamburgers. And I'm telling you, there was enough grease on there to absorb all the alcohol. And the next day you'd get up at six to go to work. I was way younger then and had a much better liver. But anywho, I'm gonna give it a try. So I'll show you what it looks like when I do it by the directions. I have to use a straw to poke holes in the meat. Now that's weird. But I am come from a keep it weird kind of place. So we're going to go for it. Don't be scared. Okay, there's my meatloaf. It's going to cook at 350 for an hour. Now I have to put together my White Castle burger that cooks at 400 for 20 minutes. So i got to do a little configuring. But I can work it out. It's just math and temperature. I'm going to be a success at this. Yep. Alrighty, I'm going to use the same bowl that I made meatloaf in because this is just going to be the ground beef with some salt and pepper. You ain't got to see it to know what's happening. I mean, it's just salt and pepper for crying out loud. The onions are going to get laid, or placed, laid, laid, I don't know those things, I don't care either, on the bottom of the pan that I cook the Crystal or White Castle burgers in. So ground beef, ground beef, it's actually ground chuck, salt, pepper, some breadcrumbs, and I buy my eggs from a friend who's got chickens, so fresh from the chicken's honey. Chicken fruit. Chicken egg. My dad called it chi the fruit of the chicken. Like fruit of the loom, only not in your underwears. Okay, so I'm going to mix that up. I'll show you what it looks like because it'll be fascinating. Cooking. So they use something like a, whatever the material is that a muffin muffin pans made out of and all mine are like kind of icky because we use those on the grill so i'm just going to put it in this here kernan ware from way back in the day so it was onions smushed on the bottom just raw chopped onions and then i'm going to mix my meat mixture up and smush it on the top they then did 20 minutes at 400 and then they put some American cheese slices, which doesn't really say cheese. It says American food, American slices. That's what it said. It's not food. I'm not putting that on here. Okay? So I prefer to eat real food, but thanks for thinking of me. I'll be back. Okay, my oven's now at 400. I'm gonna mix it up on my meat a mixture. There's my onion. And now I'm supposed to smush this on the top. Because those are thin little square burgers. I'm sure you know those creatures. And that is some terrible, terrible food, but their little buns were so soft. Smelled so good going in there. So every once in a while. I like to eat a little junky junk. And I think it's gonna smell good. But I'll be wishing my heat pump was working. But that's life. My husband will get around to calling the air conditioner repairman. It's on a list somewhere. And at some point that call will be made at the appropriate time when he gets hot because I have the ceiling fan on medium-high over my recliner 
I have Fred, my fan on a stick for $14.99 from Fred's blowing on me when I'm over there or up here. I don't share the fan with him. When you call an air conditioner man and you drag your feet, there ain't no fan for you. Okay? Because until you get hot, and if I were back in my menopause days, believe me, that air conditioner man would be here at midnight for a $250 service charge. I don't care. Sister got hot. And then to sleep in a mattress when you're menopausal and you're like 800 degrees, you're afraid that mattress is going to burst into flame. Okay, so now we got to poke it with a straw. We have to poke holes. Okay, so here's our mixture. I'm poking holes. Then this is going to go at 400 for 20 minutes. If you want to put those little fake food slices on it, you would then take it out after 20 minutes, put your fake food slices on it, slap it back in there until your little cheese melts. So, we're going to see how this goes. Okay? So, thanks for coming along for the ride. And we'll see what happens. I don't know if you can see in my little funky pan or baking dish. It's very thin. That's less, that's basically half a pound, maybe a little bit under it, but I smushed it all down. So let's try it. Because hm. a meatloaf will be perfect, so I ain't got no worries. So I'm going to do this at 400. I'm going to take it out. Then I'll let my oven drop down to 350 and cook my meatloaf. So one of these will be edible. I ain't too worried. Hm. My husband will eat anything. Oh well. Alrighty then, so it was 20 minutes. I cut a little piece out to make sure it was cooked through there, and it is. And I told you it would be greasy because it's supposed to be like that. So I don't have that small bread. So I'm going to cut it around my little burger bun which of course would be bigger than White Castle Burger, but you can't have everything. Okay, so there's my size. Now, I have to manage to scoop it out of here with the onions down there. Oh, that worked. Oh, they came right up. That's like magic. Okay. Well, looky, looky. Okay, so there's that. Hang on. A little greasy because they don't put mayonnaise they don't put mayonnaise or mine is on nothing oh you can see it's so hot okay and then you got to put the little pickles on it so that like I said they didn't put any condiment on it so there it is and I'm gonna let it cool and then I'm gonna taste it but man it smells just like a white castle burger. So it's going to be yummy. See what it tastes like. Too hot right now. I'll burn my mouth. Okay, so here it goes. Can you see what it looks like inside? It's so cute! That is bugging because that is a White Castle burger. That's a cat's pajamas right there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Junky junk junk food. Uh-huh. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That looks great. I like it, and I would do that again. Huh, digging it. Just something different, and those pickles are yummy. Okay, so you can give it a try. It's fun. And then, of course, get it on smaller bread or what do you call those little dinner rolls you get at the grocery? Yeah, like you wouldn't get, like you'd know you'd get them at the dump. But anyway, or those little Hawaiian, it's not Hawaiian Tropic because that's suntan lotion. But I live at the beach, so that's how I think. 
Hawaiian sweet rolls. That would be really good on there, and they'd be smaller. Okay, so there it is. Another Facebook recipe tried, and I dig it. Can't hurt to have a little another something something in your little recipe box for grins. That could pull you out of a depression right there. So it's darn right cute. I'm feeling it. All right, have a good one. Thanks for watching, and keep it weird, people. Keep it weird. You only live once.